Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Counter Side. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is about fusion cores, um, whether you should use your dupes to limit break your character, should you use or how to get fusion cores as well, all the different methods as well, how much it's going to cost you, and which character you should use your fusion cores to limit break. You don't want to limit break every single character using fusion cores. So yeah, hopefully you guys find this video helpful and enjoyable. If you guys don't want to miss out on upcoming counter side video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that post notification is on. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video very helpful, make sure you click the like button. It helps out with the algorithm and it also helps other people find this video. Okay, let's get right into it. So first of all, let's talk about how to get uh, fusion cores, the free to play method. And obviously you can just buy packs that gives you fusion cores as well. But uh, yeah, free to play method um, first of all. So let's go down all the way to business cards. So I did talk about this in my last video or previous videos ago. Um, you can get fusion cores over here by, by using the business owner list cards. Now this, you can get five every single week. It's weekly. Now moving on to the costume. You can actually get one over here as well. Now with this, you want to prioritize getting the set binaries first, then move over to this uh, fusion cores, then the ATP cores. But yeah, you got fusion cores over here. Um, what other place can you get uh, fusion cores? If you go over to Planet Mall as well, you can get some more fusion cores from here as well. However, this is not required or recommended to buy. Sorry, don't ever use on fusion cores to buy this. It is very, very expensive. Two thousand. You get um, task planet points from actually um, summoning, and the reason why you need this point is to actually get operators you require. So when operator comes out, or when the best or good operator comes out, you want to get the planet points to actually buy the um, operator. You never actually want to summon for operator. That's one thing to note as well. Um, unit data as well is going to be something you will use probably when you're very desperate uh, when rearm is a thing in a global server so yeah you can buy fusion calls from here but not recommended for free to play players um there is this shop as well for technically free to play method to get infusion cores however don't ever ever buy this it is way too expensive as you can see even though this might seem tempting it is only 260 for this weekly stuff yeah stay away from this i have only bought this as well when i was desperate i remember buying this as well when i was desperate very very desperate when a rearm of a specific character came out but um yeah once again don't buy this uh, with the reason no sorry today's deal as well you can actually get some chances to um, get the fusion course from here but once again it also co um, cost quartz and it is quite expensive now another free to play method i know people recommend you guys not to actually do this but i actually do this a lot a lot of times and i don't know if i want to recommend free to play players to do it but later on not right now but later on you might actually find yourself doing this it is very very expensive but once you're desperate, you probably will use it. Uh, free to play players probably are recommended not to do, do this stuff, but it's based on resources you can technically farm for. But that would mean you're using your Eternium to farm for ATP cores rather than the um, credits and equipment and other stuff. But I actually do this a lot of times. So I've probably bought like 200 or <laughs> close to 200 fusion cores from this section over here. That's why if you go over to my management, most of my characters um, are not watching. No, that's a lie. Not all my characters, not all my SSR characters are level 110. But the reason why most of the characters are like above 106 is because I did go over to there. Um, I never actually buy packs to get some fusion cores. The only time I ever use uh, spend in this game is actually just to summon for characters. I don't care about equipments or buying using money to buy equipments or using money to buy fusion cores as well. I only use um, the free to play method given. So that is another place you, you can get some fusion cores. It is going to cost a lot of ATP. And right now in the global server, there is no reason to do this. Don't use this. Don't ever use this right now in the global server. You only need to use this or you would only be tempted to use this when you've been playing for a long time and you have a lot of atp uh, cores right right now as you can see this is only at 500 because i've done this a lot of times to get this blue one so that eventually i can use the blue one to then buy the fusion core so right now the reason why this soldier atp core is at 500 is because i had to do this stuff um let me show you right now so i did um to get this blue one I did this so it cost 300 to get 10 of this um, S ATP core using that 10 ATP core I could buy myself uh, how many is it 
so let's see so to get five fusion calls you cost 25 of this stuff so yeah i did do this i never did it for the um, red atp ones for the counter characters i only ever did it for the mech and soldier ones to get fusion core to use it on my counter characters but right now in global server yeah you're not doing this so another way of free to play method to get more atp core if you go over to gauntlet and you go over to the shop um luckily the shop reset yesterday so i believe the shop resets every month oh my days wait did that refresh as well for the global server i actually need to check as well it refreshed every month um or 30 days so this has refreshed and uh, now you can actually get five more eight uh, fusion cores i want to check if in the global server this also refreshed um so yeah five from here as well and in the future when more events comes out there is a chance that fusion cores will be in the shop you can actually get fusion cores from that now let's talk about fusion cores now a quick guide on fusion cores you don't want to use your fusion cores on normal ssr units you want to use it on the um, awakened units now the reason why i say that is because um awakened units have a longer longevity and they are very hard to actually overthrow they might decrease in power later on as more new newer character comes out but they still will remain as meta units with normal ssr units yeah they might become outdated um, later on in the future and the reason why you want to limit break your characters above level 100 is always for pvp reasons and obviously awakening characters will always remain meta in pvp there is obviously going to be some good normal ssr units you that deserve the fusion core you need to be very picky on who you give your uh, fusion course too in my top 10 um, video or top 10 units video for counter side there is only like three of the units there that I would actually recommend using your fusion cores on you need to save the rest yes it is going to be tempting to give your fusion cores to uh, some of the good characters in the game but you definitely want to save it for future units as well so right now in global server any fusion cores you guys get use it to limit break your awakened hildy to level 110 now that doesn't mean you don't need to use your fusion cores for some of the normal characters as you can see right now i was i did have done it for normal um ssr characters most of the times the reason why i decided to get them to level 110 was pvp reasons you know i was trying to rank up a little bit so i did get it to level 110 for that reason now in the global server there is two or three particular characters you should use your fusion cores on right now first of all Hildy, get that to level 110 the second one in my opinion will be the Zhao Lin now this is going to come into uh this is going to be very important with the discussion of rearm as well in this video but most of the time people tell you right now not to use your dupes to limit break your characters to level 102 4 and so on the reason why they say that is because in the future when rearm comes out you're going to require that dupe i do understand what they mean rearm is def definitely a slow process so technically if you ask your summoner for characters you get dupe you can eventually just carry on saving every dupe you get so that when rearm comes you can actually start using that if you guys don't know why you need your dupes for uh, rearming i'll talk about that right now just a little bit so um esther is over here once you rearm her you then need to work on her skills as you can see the skills goes all the way to level 110 so from level 5 onwards you are going to require this unit data like the talk like i talked about with the planet mole shop stuff um you want the data stuff and most of the time when people don't have dupes or even data well actually if you don't have dupes there's no way you're getting data so once you don't have that you actually turn into uh you decide to go over to here and buy every um well every data you can from here but if you do have dupes you actually get quite a bit of the unit data so if you go over to lab right now in the global server you do not have this but this will this will be something that they implement in the future so let me go over to here so with normal ssr characters um actually is there one that have multiple let's do this so there we go um if i did this as you can see i get 60 of the unit data and i think it costs like 5 to 10 unit data to level up her skill but it is very expensive so you will need the dupe to do that um however if you guys are just saving dupes for units that you don't even know will get to rearm in the future i'm not sure if they said if um every ssr units will get to rearm in the future um but yeah rearm is slowly getting pushed forward and once it comes out in the chaos server about maybe two to three months later it will come out to the um, sea server and i'm not sure whether it will come to the global server maybe at the same time or maybe a couple of months after that but um, we have to wait and see how the rearm process works but i did talk about this in my um what's it called my dupe guide but you never ever want to sell your dupes just to get this fusion cores um this is absolutely a no-go because only two from dupes is absolutely garbage 
yeah it is not worth doing and um yeah if you want to let me break your characters you definitely will require that fusion core yeah getting dupes is not as easy as it sounds to be honest um but yeah so i have actually been using uh, my dupes to limit break some of my characters um especially when i buy the battle pass i always use the dupes to limit break them to level 106 i'm not using fusion cores to do that i'm sorry i i am someone who would do that so yeah all the counter pass or battle pass characters i do use the limit break um i do use the dupes to limit break them so i'm not talking out of my house i'm not trying to make you guys do something that i personally wouldn't do but yeah in the future you get i guess you can um save your dupes so that you can actually rearm the character now with your sr units i'm not using fusion cores for sr units there is no way i'm using fusion cores for sr units i'm using dupes for fusion uh, for limit breaking them because it's going to be a lot easier to get dupes for the sr units than it is for the ssr units especially because if you go over to the recruitment stuff you also have this in the global version but if you go over to this section over here you can get dupes for some of the ssr units and you can also farm um, SSR units dupes as well or data in fact so that's even a lot easier to do so if you go over to here um, as you can see so some of the best characters that actually got rearm for example recently um, Sylvia actually got rearm so you don't really need to save her dupes you can use her dupes to limit break her because you will be able to farm her data so that's going to be a lot easier to do so Aquarius all these normal SSR, SSR units over here you don't want to save the dupes you don't want to save the dupes for any of these units over here because you can definitely farm it so yeah fusion call is a very hard resource to come by um there are, obviously it's free to play method but it's going to take you a while before you can actually farm out enough of the fusion calls to completely limit break the character to level 110 but in my opinion only two characters at the moment i would actually recommend you guys to limit break using fusion calls is the hildi and the Xiaolin because we already know Xiaolin will be getting a um a reharm in the future so i guess you can just quickly get her all the way to level 110 and um, because she is one of the well top five best character in the entire game right at the moment just because her damage is absolutely insane she's definitely a must have unit as well so yeah she's a broken normal ssr unit that does not require your limit break but at the same time once you get her limit broken the amount of damage she deals is going to be absolutely insane so those are the two ones i would recommend right now in the global version you guys might end up actually saving your dupes for a couple of years before that even um for that rearm for that particular character comes out i believe rearm comes out every month in the kr version and then that gets released two months to or after two months or a couple of months um to the sea server then i'm guessing it's going to follow to the global server um a little while after that so yeah hopefully you guys like this video hopefully you find this video enjoyable and helpful it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony.